It was, it was a ghost town after two hours. And once we get to about Wednesday, you're going to see, you know, you're going to see people, you know, especially in the Northeast here, you're going to see people go to the Hamptons to the shore. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody uh, is doing okay. Hope everybody had a great day. Uh, one thing I forgot, I totally, it totally escaped my mind. Uh, when I recorded the the video uh, last, well, actually it was on Saturday, um, over the weekend video, I totally forgot uh, this week is uh, is going to be Memorial Day weekend, right? Memorial Day weekend uh, is next weekend. And it, it, although the market is open uh, all week, right, including Friday, uh, this is going to be, you know, this is going to be like a, like a pre-holiday week. Uh, when you see uh, 4th of July, uh, Memorial Day, Labor Day, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you're, you're always going to have the element of active market participants kind of disappearing. And, and, and you, you kind of really saw that firsthand today, uh, right from the word go. Uh, number one, we want to welcome back, right? Take us, you know, take a step to put your hands together. Welcome back the banks, right? Welcome back the banks and welcome back Zoom from dead. I didn't know Zoom was even trading, but you know, Hell, we'll talk about that in a second. So, um, look, the, the market today, uh, there wasn't a lot of value, right? It, when you look at the scoreboard, it looks fine. Uh, the Dow was up 2% today. Uh, all these brokers woke up. They, you know, Jamie Dimon had some positive things to say. You got some rising rates, this, that, and that. You know, they make their appearance like three times a year. When you look at a chart, like, for example, like Goldman Sachs, it's like, does it does anybody even 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 trade these things? I didn't see people invest, but does anybody trade these things anymore? JP, you know, JP Morgan, these stocks are just so dead. Citibank, and you feel with with a with a with a landscape of rising rates, these things will have these really magnificent runs, but they they don't. They they literally wake up like you know two, three times a year. And you know, when you look up on the scoreboard to say you see the Dow up, you know, two percent, you're like, wow, this must have been a crazy run. Not even close. Not even close. The the, the morning got faded right away especially with technology uh amazon was weak the whole day tesla was weak the whole day you had such a mixed bag today um you had uh ttd down roku down you had rblx down you had rivian down and you had you know some names up two three dollars microsoft was pretty strong today uh facebook right now i didn't i don't see the news but facebook is just tanking after the close what the hell just happened here what the heck hang on give me a second give me a second let's see if this is real uh, I think it is real. Yeah, it's real. T uh, Facebook is down. Uh, it's down eight bucks after the close. I got. I got to see what that is. So that's going to change uh, the dynamics of what I'm saying or about to say uh, very, very quickly. But it, it didn't feel right. It didn't have that aura. And number one, when you when you put thirty Dow stocks, and that's all it is. And again, if you ask Main Street America uh, what um, you know what the market did today, you know they could turn around and say, well, the market was up. Market was up two percent. Yeah, the thirty stocks were up two percent. Uh, everything else was kind of a mixed bag. And that's kind of what we talked about uh, on the video over the weekend. The, the days that uh, the days that you're going to have half uh, the stocks red, half the stocks green, they're always going to be the hardest days because, again, you're trying to figure out, you're trying to guess, are one portion of the technology names going to bring up the others or the stocks that are weak going to bring down the ones that are strong? And, and again, that's what kind of day it was. You know, we had a couple of opportunities We'll get to the pivots in a second. Amazon was pretty good. Uh, Tesla, despite being on SSR, was pretty good. And then you had some names that are just kind of going sideways as well. So I, I don't think anything was, was resolved. Um, I know a bunch of my buddies are taking this week off. Um, I have some construction going on in my backyard, so I can't really uh, get away this weekend. But a lot of people are taking off. Because think about it. We've been in a, in a bear market for five months. A lot of people are just mentally shot, right? They're, they're so, so tired. So they're looking for any excuse to leave early. And if you if you traded today, if you well actively traded today, uh, in the first part of the day, the, the market the volume died out, you know, within probably in the first two hours. Like it was it was a ghost town after two hours. And once we get to about Wednesday, you're gonna see, you know, you're gonna see people, you know, especially in the Northeast here, you're gonna see people going to the Hamptons, to the shore, wherever, you know, wherever people are uh, summering, and it's gonna be really, really tight. So if you guys go back to 
uh, the last couple of uh, holidays. Let's even go back to uh, the week of Thanksgiving, right? The week of Thanksgiving was incredibly slow. Yeah, there was some opportunities, you know, to take some here, take some there. But I, I think going into tomorrow, going into Wednesday and Thursday, and especially if you're trading on Friday, it's going to be a ghost town. But I think you just have to, tr you have to kind of rewire yourself for the week. Uh, understand if, you, if you're getting uh, very li limited institutional participation, and that's what we got today. If you looked at the options market today, it was like not, a, it was just not there. There was no price action. There was no hints of where the market wants to go. Again, of course, we're still sell bias. That's, that's obvious. Again, the market pops and has this runs into supply and then it rolls over. We'll get to the levels in a second. But I think you have to treat this week as not, not trying to reinvent the wheel. You have to be a little bit more creative. You have to be a little bit more patient. But the most important part is you have to be solvent. And that's the key. You have to wait for that so, slow pitch. And we, we always concentrate on the premium days, right? Uh, all these premium sessions, that's where you want to get uh, the most uh, the most aggressive, but the most important part is you have to get to that premium session. And today, yeah, again, there was some definitely some opportunities, uh, but the most important part is it is acting and starting acting uh, like a long holiday uh, weekend, which it is. But I'm telling you, a lot of people are going to start taking uh, the rest of the week off. And and again, when that, when that happens, think about what happens when you don't have the institutional money flow. Uh, coming into the options market, both long and short, it doesn't make a difference. If there's no money bet, what's going to happen, right? The channels are not going to expand. The channels are going to contract. And when you saw uh, the action today, especially in technology, you'll see, you see a really, you know, you'll see a pretty obvious uh, mixed bag of what happened. Yeah, man, Facebook is, by the time, by the time you guys see this video, uh, I'm going to know what the, what the news on Facebook is. I just want to, I don't want to cut the video just to look at the news, but it, it, uh, Facebook is down it's down 10 after the close. It's taken down everything with it. So um, what I was going to say going into tomorrow was, well, let's see if the bulls can squeeze out another, you know, another late, you know, late day or um, kind of a rally, low volume rally into tomorrow. But now, you know, you, you look up and everything is getting hit after the close right now. Right. And Facebook, whatever this news is, is hitting Apple, it's hitting Microsoft. Uh, is hitting um, is hitting Amazon right now all across the board. Uh, they are down. I'm dying to know what this news is. But the most important part is now. You know we don't have to guess. Is the market going to follow through? And again, if the market does follow through, it has to get above this 295 level that we covered on the weekend video. But now you know if whatever this Facebook news is, and again the worst tonight is definitely the worst update ever considering I don't know what the news is. Uh, but the point is, I don't even care what the news is. If they start taking down the bottom channels again, right, uh, this will be a situation that it could be very, very beneficial to us. Again, remember, you only need one, right? You only need something aggressive. And, you know, Zoom came out with earnings. And, and again, it's very tough for me to turn around and go, they beat earnings, right? I mean, again, the bar was set so low for Zoom, right? The Zoom and Netflix and all these stocks that quote unquote beat earnings, uh, and Facebook that beat earnings. They're like, again, the lowest possible denominator of, of, of strength with these stocks. At one point, they jumped Zoom up 20% uh, after the close. Now it's up like 6%. You know, let's see if these goals, uh, let's see if even this, if this thing even holds. But more important is now that, you know, Facebook is taking down a bunch of stocks and tomorrow, you know, now we got some bottom channels uh, that we possibly uh, could take advantage of. I listen. This whole update was a completely different five minutes ago. Before I saw this candle, uh, before this candle on Facebook, and now based on what we've seen now, technology and how weak it is after one day of rallying, maybe we go right back down. Uh, it, you know, in like we're supposed to be doing of all these days that there's strength followed by uh, the next day of weakness. So now again, forget about the long side. <laughs> I'm looking back to the short side today uh, for tomorrow. You know, let's watch. Right, let's definitely watch. Uh, Tesla's been. Uh, was weak all day, try to muster a rally towards the end of the day, which is cool. But again, you can see it. These are all days of lower highs, right? Lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, right? Even today, uh, it had a nice, you know, nice, nice little sneaky pivot, gave us a little bit of cash flow. Um, but I think going to tomorrow, based on what I'm seeing in technology tomorrow, I think we could probably get a pretty decent day. It's actually a lot better uh, than closing, you know, near these middle levels and trying to see uh, what we could find to the upside. So tomorrow, you know, try to be a little more patient uh, for the rest of the week. Don't get too aggressive. You don't need to swing any type of size just because, again, like I said, the majority of 
institutional money flow is going to probably slowly but surely get out the door, hit East Hampton, Sab, Sag Harbor, Bridgehampton. Everybody's be gone, right? Everybody's be gone because, again, all that people need is a, a reason uh, to leave early. And that's the point. <laughs> you know, people are you need institutional money flow to push these stocks around. And if there's nobody there, there's nobody there to defend these prices. And hence why, again, when you have low volume um, holiday driven weeks, people get very, very frustrated and chop themselves up because there's, there is no direction, right? There is no direction because there is no reason to uh, put the strength or weakness into uh, into play because there's not going to be anybody there uh, to defend um, to defend prices. So let's talk about today. A very slow day. Um, you know, very, very slow day. Was there a couple of pivots that did well? Yeah, I, I, yeah, look, I mean, Tesla was fine. Uh, Spot, I said, in case we'd rally, 109 needs to build, never came close. Uh, Tesla for experienced traders only. Uh, it's on SSR today, which is short sale restriction. So you can't hit bids, 650, 649 if it builds below, could possibly see uh, Friday's low. Not a bad move at all, considering it was on SSR. Uh, here is a 650 pivot, right? This whole area here. This whole 60-50 pivot, you know, went down about 10, 12 points. Not a bad move at all, uh, considering then it kind of woke up a little bit. But again, the value was very, very low today. You'll see this, if you read this up here, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, UPSC had a nice move on Friday. Watch that $40 uh, move, obviously never got there. And I said, not a lot of value today. Could be a very slow inside day. I think all, we all understand the importance of getting that premium day and sitting out the contraction days. I'll put pivots in as they play out. Again, not a value. Uh, NVIDIA got down to 62 and held, uh, swung right back. Uh, AMC, guys, keep an eye on AMC. I, I kind of like this thing. Usually it's not my cup of choice, but again, beggars can't be choosers. I, I saw it last Friday, some $9 puts being traded, some short-term $9 puts. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna watch the bottom of the channel here. Didn't rally the whole day. That's the whole point. Not not you know, not that this is the, the salt of the earth to begin with, but if it, if it doesn't rally when the market's up 2% and the Nasdaq's up 1.6%, well, what happens if it, if it gets down below this low? So I'm usually this is not my thing, but I'm gonna watch it tomorrow, right? If this thing gets below this channel here, who knows? Maybe it goes under 10, so let's keep an eye on that. But so far it hasn't uh, contracted. Uh, six, it actually traded down to 638, it says 63. This was definitely the move of the day. Um, nice move on Amazon, 2142, if it builds below, it can flush. Went down 60 points, I and mean, it was really nice. I mean, was, that, I mean, that's basically what saved the whole day. Um, so here is Amazon. Here's this whole sneaky pivot here, right here below this uh, 21, 2142 level. Look at this candle here. I mean, it's $60, $70 drop. Really, really nice move on Amazon. Um, yeah, 2115 next stop. 2100 next stop. It broke 2100, went down to 2079. Uh, Square held uh, 79 again. I think that was it. I think that was it for the day. Uh, yeah, I said, look, nice and calm. Just pick our spots. We'll be looking like this the day ahead of Memorial Day. Keep taking flow and use break even on all runners. I mean, again, it, it's going to be slow. It's going to be very, very slow. As we're talking right now, Facebook is getting manslaughtered. Uh, Zoom is only up like 4 or 5% now. Everything is coming in. So, yeah, everything we talked about today for a possible second day run or a light volume drift for tomorrow, I mean... <laughs> That might be off the table before uh, this video is even done. So that's it, guys. No, nothing, you know, nothing crazy. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel. Uh, just try to try to be professional. Remember, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, the market could be up two thousand points. If you're not getting value, that means there's no value to be gotten. Guys, have a great night. God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take